Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from British Mathematical Olympiad from 2016. In this problem, we have n to the power of 2 minus 6n is equal to m to the power of 2 plus m minus 10. And we want to find all possible positive integers that we can have for m and n to satisfy this equation. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, we are going to simplify the equation a little bit. We have n to the power of 2 minus 6n and we are going to write it as n minus 3 to the power of 2 minus 9. If we do it, then we will have n minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to m squared plus m minus 1. Now we have n minus 3 to the power of 2 on one side and m squared on the other side. Let's rearrange this and then we will have n minus 3 squared minus m squared is equal to m minus 1. From here, we need to do some reasoning. First of all, n minus 3 to the power of 2 minus m squared is equal to m minus 1. We know m is a positive integer, so m cannot be 0. The minimum value that we have is 1. Let's start with 1. We set m is equal to 1 and then we will have n minus 3 to the power of 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. This leads to n minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 1 or n minus 3 is equal to plus or minus 1. And we will have n is equal to 2 or 4. Both 2 and 4 are positive integers and you can verify that actually with m is equal to 1 both of them results in the same equation and they satisfy the equation. So n is equal to 2 and 4 for m is equal to 1 are answers. Now we want to find if we can find any other answer here. From here we are going to consider the cases that m is at least 2. Since m is at least 2, then m minus 1 is greater than 0. And we can say n minus 3 to the power of 2 minus m squared is greater than 0. So it's a positive integer. Now we have n minus 3 to the power of 2 minus m squared. The minimum possible value that we can have for n minus 3 is going to be m plus 1. Since the whole expression needs to be positive. Let's try m plus 1 for n minus 3. If we do it, then m plus 1 to the power of 2 minus m squared is going to be 2m plus 1. Since m is a positive integer, we will have 2m plus 1 is greater than m minus 1. So for the minimum possible value that we can have for n minus 3, which is m plus 1, the difference between n minus 3 squared and m squared is going to be larger than m minus 1. So we cannot find any possible value for n minus 3 if m is at least 2. In other words, the only possible solution that we can have for the equation is going to be m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 or 4. And these are the only answers that we can have. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel.